Welcome back, everyone, and I'm here again with SBR contributor Jordan Sharp. And today we're going to be looking at how those odds have been acting up for the game between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Green Bay Packers. How are you doing today, Jordan? Doing good, Dax. Thanks, man. All righty, brother. Week 11, Mark Sanchez's test has finally arrived, man. And I guess if he really wants to be taken serious in this league, he's got to show that he can go up against the pack and get that win. The deal is that they're going to be playing in Lambeau Field. Now, bookies at BOL opened this one favoring the pack by four and a half points. But obviously, everyone jumped up on that deal and hiked it up to five and even six points right now. Now, Sanchez didn't have a bad game last week, like I told you. I mean, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt that he could actually show us that it was only the problems playing for the Jets that caused him to be, you know, a butt-fumbling player. But, you know, right now, the way that I see it, I mean, he does have the chance to play with this nice offense that he has. The only deal is, again, you know, he's going up against Aaron Rodgers, and Jesus Christ, I mean, this guy is on fire. There's no way to stop him. And, and even though with, you know, that hamstring that he had a couple weeks ago, he was still able to pull off that, that win, you know. What do you think about this one, man? Where, where do you expect this line to close out? Dax, I think the uh, I think the line's probably seen as much movement as we're going to see it this week. I think five and a half uh, is where it's going to close out. I think Bookmaker, DSI, the books that have this one pegged pretty correctly. It's value, I think, if you got the Packers earlier, it's uh, it's it was probably a much better value. But now I'm not quite sure if I'm as enthused about the Packers at the current price. Um, you know, and you're right, this is the first you know really legitimate uh, sand game where he's got to go, got to go on the road to get the Eagles a win and a crucial one here uh, against a team that's kind of fighting a good team that's you know kind of still fighting for playoff position in the NFC because of the bad start so uh, but the one thing I am actually interested on in this game is compared to the other another game that has a really high total that we've been talking about the that we'll talk about here in a minute uh, I think that this one has as even at 55 has a very good chance of going over just because these two defenses are both very beatable the Packers you know with LaShawn McCoy is going to run all over them this week and on the flip side I think Aaron Rodgers is just going to throw all over the Philadelphia Eagles so we could legitimately see a 30 you know 30 to 30 game you know at the end of this one and uh, easily the total to go over this one I think it's probably a little bit safer and probably a lot better wage or a wager even though it's risen a point and a half or a point since uh, since it opened earlier you can still get a few books at 54 and a half so I think that's the play for this one I'm uh, personally laying off the spread yeah, I mean, I, I, I do think that this is going to be a high-scoring game, but I'm, I, I just remembered. I mean, they put Clay Matthews on the inside instead of being on the outside, and we saw what he did last week. Even though he doesn't like playing on the inside, he was sacking quarterbacks and, run, and stopping the run, you know, left and right. So I'm thinking that, you know, Sanchez, he doesn't do well under pressure, and that could be a major factor here. So uh, but are, you, are you saying that at 5.5 you're, uh, you're willing to uh, lay the points here? <sighs> Not lay the points, you know, but... To go over the total, you know, it might be a little too risky, dude. I mean, consider that, you know, with Sanchez getting pressure, he's probably going to revert back to his, you know, cocoon uh, when he was back in uh, the Jets days. You know, I, I, that, that's kind of what I think might happen with him. I mean, I might be totally wrong and, you know, it might not be that way, but that, that's kind of something that I just thought about, you know, that Matthews is going to be playing on the inside now. So that could actually hurt them a bit. Yeah, it might. I I do, I do agree with you that that's a, that's a concern just because the Philadelphia offensive line has been uh, anything but solid this week. But I think that uh, I think that that last week the Philadelphia Eagles learned something about themselves, and even and even though um, they got really lucky with a lot of uh, not lucky, but I guess a little partially lucky with a lot of the defensive scores that they were able to get last week. Um, you're looking at a team that you know ran the ball only 12 times with Deshaun McCoy last week. He could never get a rhythm. He did get a touchdown, uh, but they just have not utilized him at all. And if anything, if this, if any week in the in the this whole season has been a, a week to unleash Deshaun McCoy for 25 carries and another four to five targets in the air. This is it because it's the only way you're going to keep Aaron Rodgers off the field, and it's the only way they're going to give Mark Sanchez a chance against that pass rush to mix. The, uh, mix it up a little bit with some short dump offs to McCoy and some shotgun runs and things like that. So I think that um, if anything, I, I don't. I think your concerns are valid at that about the uh, about the pass rush or the uh, the Packers. But uh, in the end, I think this game is. Uh, I think Chip Kelly will be able to game plan around that. I think he knows his weaknesses at this point, and I think I, I hope that he knows that he is critically underusing McCoy here. So I think that uh, this is going to be a McCoy game. If it isn't. The Eagles deserve to lose this game by four. <laughs> well, you know, he hasn't been having to use him that much because they got that other little person that they stole from the Saints. Uh, the Saints, fuck, they stole from the Saints. Uh, Sproles, you know, I mean, having having him right now in the team, it's, it's completely changed the, the dynamics that they have so far. I mean, if you look at it, 
he's like the relief player that just saves everybody's team. I mean, every team that he goes to, he's just saving them. You know, he's pulling off the plays. He's getting the return touchdowns. He's, he's doing everything, you know. And I think that we're going to see a little bit more of Sproles than we're going to see of, uh, of, of Shady Mac in this one, man. Okay, well, I mean, either way, I like Sproles. Um, and I think that he, he's obviously, I mean, after, after the last couple of weeks that you've seen, is, has been absolutely crucial um, to not only, you know, this team, but, but keeping McCoy healthy and, you know, and fresh. But it, you know, like I said, I'll, I'll stick to it. You know, the only way they're going to, I think, win this game on the road in this tough environment in, in Lambeau Field when we're starting to get into the, the uh, quote-unquote frozen tundra levels of, uh, of, of, of weather here in that, in that field, you're going to have to run the ball. There is no way around it, no matter who, if it's McCoy or, or if, it's, uh, if it's Sproles. Either way, I think it's going to be a little more McCoy this week, though. Just, that's, I just have a hunch. If that's the only way you're going to win this game. It's the only way you're going to keep Sanchez, Sanchez excuse me, off of his back. And it's, it's, you know, it's, it's probably going to be heavy. It should be heavy in their game plan this week. I, uh, I, would, I would be very surprised if we didn't see a heavy dose of the run game from the Eagles Yeah, this week. I agree. I definitely agree with that. All right, my man. As always, Jordan, it's a pleasure talking football with you, and I look forward to doing this again next week, man. All right, thanks, Dax. No problem. For SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns. Big money free betting contests year-round. A real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.